Hello YOLO and welcome back to Notes on Hobby. So today we have a quest to search the well next to a dilapidated house in Skijern Forest. So where do we go about with that? We go to the world map. Three days later. Alright, we wake up in our bed, running feet in panic, shouting. Someone pounds on your door so rapidly and so furiously you can hear the hinges creak. Note, Rurik, Astrogir, are you in there? We're under attack, it's raiders from the sea. Oh, just when I was about to do the side quest, man. Why do you have to ruin it for me? Alright, let's don our weapons and armor. And let's go hit us some badass vikings. Oh, look. There's some stuff in here that I can grab. The only problem here is that I cannot run. Hate it, man. Look at that. Alright, let's go out. Quick save first. Alright, Keto almost runs straight into you as you step outside. He was a wild look. He has a wild look in his eyes. You're awake. Calm down, what's happening? Where are the others? Northmen attacking us from both north and south. Nefja is holding the bridge, as if it went to reinforce the north entrance. Were the beacons not lit? No, they weren't. Alright, let's send them back to where they came from. Lead away. Okay, first off, I want to help Nefja, which is down here. Here she is with somebody else and somebody else. Oh, that's the smith. Alright. Let's go in here and help him out. Help her out. Save first. Okay. What's happening? So leave. You filth ridden. So we have how many enemies? So we have to ensure that no enemies reach the highlighted area, which is this area here. Okay, so how many enemies do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? Really now? Nine of them against five of us? Are you kidding me? That's not fair. Seriously. And Nefja is already dying. With all the barrels she's gotten. Oh, good thing they missed. So, they have a lot of range attackers. The first thing I'd want to do is to make sure that they don't attack with a high accuracy in the next round. So I have here this guy right here who has demoralized. So this inflicts all enemies with the status effect demoralized. Their mental resistance and max accuracy is half. So with max accuracy, like for example, if they're going to hit Nefja for 90%, that's their max accuracy, then Nefja will only be hit for 45% accuracy. So it has the max accuracy that the character has. Oh no, I think I'm I think I think what this means is that the max accuracy is have is that for a character, for example, if you look at a character, Nefja has an accuracy of 70%. That's her max accuracy. So if you put that in half, that's going to be 35%. So if, for example, there's an archer here, this guy right here. His max accuracy is 55%. So if I demoralize him, let's demoralize them. And let's see what happens. So they're all demoralized, nobody resisted, I hope. And let's look at his accuracy. So from 55%, it becomes 5%. So the max accuracy of one person in this game is 100%. And if you have that, that's 50%. So that's minus 50% all the time. So that's 5% accuracy. So he's not going to hit Nefja anymore. But the problem is Nefja only has half of her life. Less than half. And I need her to be back, you know, defending. Come on, Nefja, you need to be back here. And you, my friend, what's your name? The Smith? <laughs> that's all I can say. You are the smith. We can just do an anticipate. And then for Nefja, what we can do with her is... Pro 
probably interrupt because she has a bow because I gave her a bow so that anybody who moves will be interrupted oh yeah all right I'm gonna use my bow for this so I'm gonna kill the person who I think will be most threatening which is this guy right here so I'm gonna attack both of them but before I attack I'm gonna put spotted on first so I could get this plus 25 percent and now my accuracy to hit them is 56 percent all right you're first damn I missed all right he's next so that's 75 percent what's this one minus 30 no I, I don't want to do that all right let's attack him and down he goes I missed again what is happening <laughs> all right I'll end my turn damn uh, you see you missed your accuracy is not that great now all right they're trying to hit me but they can't because I have them demoralized ain't demoralized a bitch for the archers <laughs> There you go, interrupting. Oh, you missed. That was very far off, man. Nefja, what the hell is wrong with you? You crazy? Alright, let's switch to our magical pitchfork. Let's kill this one first. Or oh, this one. Yeah, let's let's pick this guy. There you go, minus 59. And you, my dear friend, will die painfully. Critical hit. Awesome. Alright, we have to keep on demoralizing them because these archers, they're gonna wreck us if we don't. Alright, let's try. How many percent? 31. Alright, I have no more ranging shot, but this guy has one. So, ranging shot will give me plus 25% accuracy. So, I'll use it in here, but. The best thing, the, the good thing about the ranging shot is that it stays for the whole fight. So if they stay on that area for the whole fight, they'll have their... I'll have my increased accuracy on them for the rest of the battle. Okay, so let's attack. Who can we attack? 56 or 56? You know what? I'm not going to waste my chances on them. So I'll just attack this person right here. Hopefully it hits them. Oh man! Are you blind or something? Alright, okay, who is next? This guy first. Come on, hit them. Oh my god, what's happening here? Oh, 22 damage. Oh man, that's why. He's also activated demoralized now can't do anything about that because my accuracy is now halved as well oh boy how much is my accuracy now see 86 percent crap all right I'm gonna kill this person right here and I'm just gonna keep my ground because if I move then Nefja dies Anywhere closer, Nefja dies. I think I'll move her here so that the archers will not be able to hit her. Alright, demoralize again. Okay, everybody's demoralized. Alright, let's... Come on, man. What kind of an archer are you? <laughs> you are not an archer. Okay, 56%. Do I try or just I'll just do interrupt? I've had enough. Can't keep wasting it on them. Look at that, 25%. Curacy of 70% with demoralize makes it 25% chance to hit them. Oh boy, I'm just gonna do interrupt. It's no use, man. Alright, it's gonna be a long battle with these archers here, but once I get my move on them. Once I get all the melee killed, I'm gonna move on them with my two melee characters. 
Oh, interrupt. That's good. Okay, that interrupt didn't work. Oh boy. Alright, they're moving in. They've finally had enough. And they didn't use demoralize. You missed, you bastard. Alright, they didn't use demoralize. I'm just gonna keep on demoralize. Before that, I'm gonna heal Nefja so she can move and attack others, you know. Alright. So that she is healed. Now, the next thing we can do is kill this person right here. Alright. So, if I attack him, how much damage? Nah, you can attack her. Alright, she's down. And you. You can kill her, him. Alright, that's 62. So I've turned lethal da lethal attacks on so that I could hit criticals and increase my chances of killing the enemies. Alright, that's it. That's another turn. I don't know my why my accuracy is so low. Just don't understand. Whoa, demoralize. Come on, I've gotta get rid of that guy now. He is so annoying. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was bad. Really bad, man. Whew. What am I gonna do? Do I kill you? Because I didn't act activate the moral eyes that time, that's why. Right, let's activate Demoralize and probably switch to a sword and a shield. Because I'm not making any damages here. There we go. I'll kill you first. And then you can kill him. Oh man! He missed! Crap. Alright, I have no choice but Nefjaz to attack him. Enemy's turn. Oh, you're right. I have resisted stun, man. Alright, there's only four of them left. I still have four characters, so it should be good. I want to kill this guy as soon as possible. He is making a mess out of my accuracy. Come on, come closer. Come closer to Nefja, where she can kill you. Alright, this guy's next, so... Do we still go ahead with... Demoralize? Yeah, let's demoralize again. Okay. Next is... Attack with Nefja. Yes. He did not block it with his shield. this let's attack with him nice okay cat hill you're my only hope man please hit him thank you very much hasta la vista baby all right let's end our turn oh man these archers you have got to stop man you're not hitting me Oh, somebody's activated interrupting. Alright, you want to activate interrupting? Here you go, I'll activate it for you. Alright, demoralize. Spotted for this guy right here, because he's so special. There we go. Now we have a chance to hit him. 61% I'll just do interrupt me no there's no chance man you're demoralized so I'll just take my chances at 61% I don't care I don't care if I missed I don't have a choice there we go that's what I like so Nefja is just gonna s oh I should have activated Nefja's you know uh, there's another s skill for Nefja right here I forgot to activate it 
I was so excited. Alright, it's time to heal somebody. So let's heal the main character. And let's kill this bastard right here with our sword. Had enough of archery today. So let's go beside him. And attack. There we go. Nefja can finish her, him off. And no more demoralize. And we can come closer actually. So we can have a higher chance of, see, 95% to hit them. That's definitely gonna hit. Alright, I am not happy yet. I need to move forward. Somebody else needs to move forward as well. Alright, let's end our turn and finish this battle. Alright, Nefja doesn't have a life yet, so I'll probably demoralize. No, I'll probably heal her first before I start demoralizing her. And look at this one. Just a reminder this area right here can make your characters slip and lose a move. So always be careful not to move her to move around that place. So let's just go around here. Probably, you know, we could come closer. Yeah, let's move here where we are covered. There we go, we have cover. And let's use our bow. Hopefully, we could hit them now. 81%. Come on, thank you. Alright, let's kill them. I've had enough. Alright, one more turn and we win. One more turn and we win. Where are you going? Ooh, you you went in there. Okay. How about if I attack you from down here? Critical hit, man. Critical hit. All right. Let's go sword and shield this time. Oh yeah. Victory is ours. Okay, so guys. What happened here? Oh no, we have a decrease in durability for our Brodax, but we we don't. He's not a part of our herd, so I don't care. All right, the last of the Norwegians hits the mud, and you allow yourself to pause for a moment to take stock of the outcome. I'm glad you got here so soon. These raiders know how to fight. You're still alive, of course. The others are still holding off the attack at the northern gate. If you hurry, you might be able to route the riders there, raiders there. Alright, so I've got Nefja. Who have I got? Nefja and Kettle in my herd. But before we go there, I'm just gonna grab whatever stuff they have brought with them. So that guy's empty. Oh, what the hell is your buddy doing down there? <laughs> Damn, they don't have anything actually. Alright, let's go up. But before we do that, let us save the game first. With a quick save. And let's go here to the north. Where Aslifir is. Are you Aslifir? Yes, you are. Alright, so we got three enemies at the moment. And then enemy reinforcements will arrive in two turns. So in two turns, we should be able to defeat these three enemies with one, two, three, four, five, six characters. And then another set of reinforcement will arrive in five turns. So that's three enemies ev for every reinforcement that they are saying out there. All right, so I'm just gonna push out here because that that girl right there is gonna be annoying. So I have to push out and go to her. So I'll just use my tactical move so that I can move out there and. This guy, I love this guy. Hook and slash. There we go. Hook and slash. Oh. Alright. No. no, that wasn't my purpose. See? 
I damage his shield and I damage his life. So that is pretty good skill, man. An overhead attack with the offhand weapon that is always blocked, immediately followed by the, an unblockable attack with the main hand weapon. So take note of that skill, guys. That is very cool. Alright, let's just keep, get closer. And then switch to a shield. No, I need. No, my archer is useless. My archery skills for this character is useless. Look at that, 56% chance to hit. That is not cool at all, but we could probably just do interrupt. Move here, closer, where we can hit somebody. Right, so what you've got? 35%? That's no good. Cripple. Nah, let's... Let us... Alright, let's focus on this guy. Do a ranging shot on him. And you, with the skill of aimed shot, can do a 95% chance to damage. Come on, Skridir. That's what we're talking about. Critical hits. That is what is going to make us win this game. And 60% chance to hit. Not bad. I'm gonna take it. There we go. Alright. So we have one enemy down. Two more. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Like, nah. That's not gonna hurt. Alright. My turn. No, oh, you don't have charge. Anyway. Let's attack her. Because she is annoying. <laughs> there we go. Minus 39. And let us probably move behind her. Okay, next we move out. No, I'll do a hook and slash again on this guy. Oh, I should have went to his back. Can't go up there now. Alright, uh, let's attack him. Yeah, let's move out. How's your archery? Alright, 76%. I'm happy with that. There we go. Sigurdir. Gotta move in closer. Good thing you didn't slip on that thing. Right. Yes! Oh, good. Alright, everybody. You've got to let us move. <laughs> Come on. No. Let's move in closer. Okay. Where do we stand? Let's stand over here. Try to attack her 20%, so I'll do an interrupt and end my turn. Alright, three more reinforcements. I have, have a resistance to demoralize there, some of them. Oh, 18 damage, not bad. Damn it, two of them have demoralized. You can't just demoralize people twice, you know, that's so demoralizing. Okay, so who do we kill first? This guy right here? Okay, how many percent? 71? How about if I go here? Can I still hit him? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. So I'll just go and hit him then. Alright, um... You, what can you do? Throw a rock? Yeah, that's right. That is so not cool. What? Do you have a, mil a range weapon? No, you don't. So, I'm just gonna get you to go here as well. Because you know we're gonna ambush them. As if that's gonna work. Okay. Let's kill this archer now. You hope to best me? Pathetic. Pathetic, you're right. Can you hit 
No, you can't. You cannot as well. Can we go here if we can and hit her? Yes, we can. Oh, it's only 35, 40%. So what do we do? No. All right, I'm gonna use the, the other archer. I'm gonna kill this guy right here. All right, one more and that one is dead. Neff just gonna kill him, but before that, I need to move here. Oh man, if you move, you can't use it. Crap. So I'm just gonna use a ranging shot. And they're all spotted. And I can kill her. There we go. One down. We have three more turns. Two down. And we have three more turns before the reinforcements arrive. So let's do this. So that guy is gonna be flanked. So flanking, you've just flanked an enemy. This will give both characters a bonus to the damage they deal to the flanked enemy. Flanking is only applied when two characters are on directly opposite sides of the enemy. Flanking damage is calculated before damage reduction is subtract subtracted, but applied after. This makes flanking very powerful against heavily armored enemies. Nice, so you get that into your perspective or into your thoughts that when you are dealing with heavily armored enemies, go flank them. That's another tip guys, but that's not from me, that's from the game. But anyway, at least you know it now. Alright, we got our three archers hiding behind, closed curtains. <laughs> Damn it, why do you have to use demoralize? Oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. Oh boy, is there anybody who can heal? Nope, nobody here heals other people. It's everybody for themselves. Alright, uh, let's... Seriously, 46%. Couldn't get any better. Alright, I'll just activate. Ready. Get set. You have got to hit him. There we go, 95%. Thanks, Sigridir. You are one awesome archer. Alright, 65%. Do we go with 65? Yeah, let's go with 65. Oh man, <laughs> I missed. Anyway, let's hide in here since we can still move. Alright. Let's kill them. Who is gonna die first? Okay. Let's kill her. No, I need to. Yeah, what am I gonna do? I don't have any attacks left. Alright, I'll just kill her first. And then, I'm gonna use hook and slash on him. There we go. That's a sure damage. Although it's quite small. So, do I stun him? Yeah, I'll stun him. So that Nefja can move. Yes, thank you. You are stunned, baby. Alright, I want to move Nefja over here and he can f move there to flank him. Alright, you go move. Oh man, I can't. Alright, let's try this. Attack of opportunity, I know that. Now, let's see if you can still attack me if I have this on you. And this on you. Now, Alright. There you go. 52 damage. Alright, you can kill him. And the next thing we can do is to actually move our characters over here. And then these guys can just interrupt. Alright, so now when the enemies come in and they move, they're gonna be interrupted. See? Free damage on the enemy's turn. 
And Nefja is going to die this turn, unfortunately. Sorry, Nefja. Didn't mean for you to die. Oh, that's gotta hurt. 33 damage. Oh my god, that punch! It tickles! But it's hurting me, man. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should have done this. I should have flanked him first. Crap. Anyway, that's alright. You're dead. There we go. This guy is dead as well. Nice. All in one turn. Alright, let's kill that bitch. Oh, shit. Uh, I need to do this. Bye bye. There we go. 45 damage, guys. Alright. Oh, where's the one enemy? Oh, shit. Where did you come from? Alright, let's end our turn and finish this guy off quickly. Good thing I resisted Harry there. Here you go, grab some sword and shield. Alright, Asphir, that's for you. Victory. Awesome. Alright, we have no new injuries even though Nefja fell. Let's accept that as the last attackers goes down. Alright, I'm glad you got here in time. Oh, my dear boy, I'm so glad you're alive. Oh, Torfin. Alright. So he said the raider's leader is back in the longhouse, in front of the house, so that's him, Gunnar the Peaceful. He's not so peaceful at all. But anyway, we'll face Gunnar in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys, click the like button if you like this video and subscribe to see more of Expeditions Viking. Keep on watching, you only live once. See you in the next one.